All right, this video is gonna be a little bit different. And this happened like a few days ago on stream, but I wanted to make a video out of it because I stream lots and lots of DVD, but like very rarely you get those matches that are just like so strange that I feel like other people should know about it. Now while this match was going on, my mic didn't record when I, when I shadow played the gameplay, so this doesn't have me talking during it, but you can always go see it on Twitch. Make sure y'all follow me on there. But here it is, we get into a chase with the Huntress, and it's like, it's a pretty regular game so far, you know. I She found me first, probably had lethal or something, found me first, and you know, it's just it just plays out regular. She's trying to do this mind game right here, I'm just, you know, I'm just keeping space, not even going to use my dead heart here. I'm just running away and playing this, this nice tile against a Huntress really well. So then I did harder right there. I didn't think that was toxic at all. I, I feel like she should have knew I had dead heart the way I was playing. So yeah, so I get my dead heart off and then I'm just playing main building right here. Just because it's a huntress. I got caught out at a really bad spot at the beginning. So yeah. Now I play this pallet, end up reversing her. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, this is where it all gets a little strange once we get to this tile. She almost hit me there. That was actually really, really, really good. And you see I'm just holding this 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 little pile of logs, I guess. Yeah, we're just holding this, this pile of logs. And she keeps trying to hit me with her hatchet here. She keeps pulling up and... and I thought it was really weird because it's like I, I've already shown how greedy I was. But this honestly isn't even about like, you know, like her, her, her DVD gameplay. More about like what happens in a little bit. So I go down at the pallet. I'm like, OK, OK, well played. Nice little three gen chase. You know, I thought that was really good. Nice teammates right there. So she goes to reload. I'm thinking everything's still sweet, still normal. And then this happens. Now I'm like, uh, is it the Twitch shirts? Is it, uh, do I know this person, you know? But teammate starts creeping up. This Fane comes up, she gets me. This Fane comes up, tries to get me. I go back down immediately. So the Rebecca is also still around. The teammates are nice. I'm not blaming the teammates either because the teammates did what they could in this scenario. But she's trying to get me, she ends up going down. So then the Huntress stands over both of us, and I thought this was a little weird, not gonna lie. And as Arena comes up, she does the same thing that the, uh, that the uh, Fang did. <laughs> and then she finally, finally breaks the pallet. So I'm like, now she has a reason to pick me up. Now she doesn't have to worry about getting pallet saved. So maybe, maybe that was the reason. So then the Zarina comes up, she picks me up like kind of like the smart way, which is like putting her back towards the killer. But then I go down immediately again. And then she just stands over my body here and does like this little like head, head, head knot thing. And this is when it was getting a little too weird for me right here. Because it's like, she's just, yeah. So I got about like 15% left of my bleed out. So I'm thinking this is where I'm going to die. Zarina comes up here. Ends up going down, but I get adrenaline. And I would have loved for it to get out this this trial and just like, you know, just rub it in the face like you slugged me out all game and, and I still escaped you. So she waits out my dead heart here, and unfortunately that is just not the case. So Couple, couple head nods right there. A couple more seconds on the ground, and I eventually bleed out. Now, like this is gonna be pretty spicy right here. If they're on PC, we're gonna get to talk to them and understand why all that just happened. Right here is when they say the reason was sub only vods waste your time. I thought that was so weird. It said, change the VODs. I play you too much to not watch your POV after. Now, I know a reason 
that none of y'all probably could have guessed was I got slugged out. Like, this match played out the way it did because I have my VODs on Twitch set to sub only. And just for this reason, too, I get a lot of killers. I, I, like I said, I stream DVD a lot. So I get a lot of killers who do, like, certain stuff. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll slug me out, camp me, tunnel me. So they can go back into VOD and watch it and laugh. I don't know what their Discord buddies or just for their own personal pleasure. But that was the reason I got slugged out this entire game. Like, is that not weird? And then they also said I play you too much to not be able to see your your POV of it. And I've only played this person. At least they only came to my chat and said GG's one time. So the moral of the story, I just thought this was an interesting game to share. The moral of the story is, is, is just don't be this guy.